being a black folks and basically this is the sun and this is the gigantic pits that from when they have a solar flare okay and basically like the structure of the sun and you can imagine the size of these are probably like the size of mars or something like that or even bigger than the earth these are humongous sized craters uh well you know basically people in their, in their mind think the tons of volcanoes okay we're going to show you some dead spot i'm going to show you some dead spot action on the sun like crazy that's going to freak you out now i don't know if we'll end up seeing any activity pop in here on this video which is just basically okay so this is the major issue folks the dead okay and yes when we see these normal solar flares and then it dies off but this is no cake bake folks this is actual data picture shots today okay and i'm also going to take you to video so something has rolled a gigantic something of the super giants or something has rolled around the sun now i think everything is calm that this stuff will all heat back up to like this here and these were these craters that we just saw shots of okay and it's basically this should all come back to really hotness there but you can see clear path okay i'll go to the cursor on the outside there's a clear path here and even it doesn't even it kind of breaks off a little bit right there but there's a clear path right like this like a bunch of marbles gigantic marbles and we all know the size of the sun but you see something is like rolled past the sun or something a gigantic maybe uh, something close to what you know something has because you can see the path there is like in indescribable you can see the the coolness deadness coming and you all see see the solar action that we'll be able to show you in a second too and here's recent helio viewer and then you can also go looking for more videos over here and I'm not sure if that's the one that I ended up seeing the planet go and hit and basically folks that was a planet or a dead star and very large okay that ended up on my other videos today so watch all the videos today there was some great footage that Helios Helio viewer had they always have good stuff okay so check all this stuff out you got this over here to play with and you got all the old Comet Lovejoy action over here that you can watch that's very interesting watch my videos and you'll see this action here this, this one was astounding okay and we got solar flares bouncing around like crazy there and let's take a look at the sun right so this is it going ape shit today and then the dates through to the day 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 24 4, 6 see so you're gonna see that basically ends it ends up putting back if you watch the 11th comes up okay I think yeah the 11th comes up so don't make it think that you're shooting ahead okay the 11th will end up here on the 11th when you see the 30 it's 11 will pop up right there okay but this is the sun getting its ass kicked up there in the super giants folks okay it moves around like 27 days or 27 or 28 days something just like the the moon okay the sun does now folks if you watch right here on this flare you can see there's a roundness any idea that you can see that hardly anything blocks a lot of these flares and as you've seen in my past half a dozen or so videos you will see how these solar flares go flying through space like crazy well there's a planet there okay and a lar very large one as you can realize that basically the sun is about this big this disk covers off a lot about a outside edge of uh, the flares the suns are basically, it could even actually just be the actual size, be this ring that you see right there, okay? And this is all flare action. So that you can realize how big, with my backside of my arrow, how big that this object here is. And watch me click, head one shot, and you will also see that there's another large anomaly or object that gets basically, and they airbrush this stuff out with the color backings, okay? I.e., we can show you by looking at, okay? The idea that nothing really gets blocked out here, and lots of times we see them get cut out here, and this is recent shots, and then I'll be able to take you to two. And also, pay attention on here. Let me blow this up to like 150, and watch. You're going to see the idea. You'll see the distance on these shots. The idea that this one's a farther away shot. Pretty much realistic size of the sun is about like this, or pretty much basically that disc there. Okay? And the idea that you're going to see these two... V stars or whatever they are, triangulations possibly because there's probably one in front of the sun on more than likely the back side because we end up with basically B and A for cameras, angles, shots at the sun here. And then we'll see another shot of from recent that this here shot is 
closer in, but you can still see those V stars because I'll blow this up to uh, 200, I think will probably show it, and you can see that there's a V out front. And basically that there, this is actually a closer shot, okay? This is a closer in shot from our behind cameras, two and three, okay? And then the idea that that's that because this is a farther away shot. So this material here, because this, there's only like a... F a few minute distance, like maybe a 10 minute difference here on these shots. This one here is 1900 flat, and the other one is 1850 something, 54 or something like that. So this here action is out in front of the sun and basically was that other object stuff that you've seen. Okay. So these two shots here. So when you're looking at these colors, you remember going through here. So let me go back and pull up another video. So once again, don't let the magnet program fool you. There's a lot of dead action right now on the sun. Okay, it's very easy to see because you show it here on the map how much is dead and you also see this and then you can go also to the shots and you realize how much has died because you can see with the color. Okay, you can see how much has died. Okay, very bald on top and very dead down here and i.e. not lying to you dead there. Okay, the sun's not dying but it is getting its ass kicked up there. Should be able to survive. So... There's suns that are 56 and 77 percent the size of the sun, so the sun will make it. It's just that how much is it going to be, and then what are we going to be left with when we separate from the supergiant's main sequence, and then what year? I'm thinking 2016, 2019, something like that, because this is going to be around for a while. And remember that, that you have a uh, satellite messenger is right with Mercury here, okay, and that shot. It's right along with Mercury, and I think it's using Mercury for a shield to get real close shots of the sun. And that's the sun right there, and these are the CME axes coming in. And also, that's another thing to pay attention to, this big, see that there? The sun's putting some big plasma electronic action out towards Mars, okay? Almost like, hey, I'm in trouble. Or if it's trying to get some kind of magnetic fix to try to pull its way back out of the supergiants. So, some very interesting signal going from the sun to Mars and you can see it there okay that's not no that's basically electrical energy folks okay more than likely a negative it's more than likely a ground trying to get in, increase its positive negative friction or something okay so quake action probably there and there would be high as we go down and look and yeah out in the ocean off of Brazil out in the ocean so basically New Zealand and, and stuff in Hawaii should get some action tonight. And basically what we've been seeing on what for quakes has been very much that area heavy 5.1. And that's another thing is like I repeat, the size and the footprint that we're seeing is much bigger than what we'd see for those size of quakes. And also basically looking at just an, a very quick example is I'm going to have it here close enough to the United States that you can see the U.S. quakes. And as we go down, when we'd see this size, it wouldn't be a 2.5. That would be a 3.1, okay, just from the size because it always choreographs out how much the ground shakes, okay. So even if it's a lower quake, if they want to sit there on that action, but I say that they're pulling a tick off, a tick point one, one point one off because that's a 3.2, folks, and look how big an area it spanned on the United States because these graphs, when they show the circling, they're showing how far the shaking spread out and hit other magnometers, Okay, so it's very much positive looking at the idea that they're taking a one point something off the quakes and they've already zeroed out the volume box on RADS and CPM at, at the RADS sites. So we know that they're putting a quick fix on a bunch of stuff and it just doesn't work. It's just a bunch of BS. And as you can see with that big of a path like even on that quake there, and I think they got it at something 6.6 .6 or whatever, 6.5.1. You know, so there's there's cake bake going on like crazy because this these are bigger footprints, and the most stunning one of it all is basically that one I'm showing you that 3.2. You can see the the footprint of it. It's a bigger quake than a 3.2 on the U.S. there, and also 2.5 up there. So yes, look at that United States. You've had a bunch of quakes, okay? North American continent, okay? And this is just about a week, or not even not even a week here of action around Christmas, okay? So that 2.5 even looks large right now. It's fresh right now. So, and really quickly, I'll take you to the high shots. 
and basically this one that really doesn't show us too, uh, I mean this great shot, but the idea that we get much more action from our other shots. It gets way better when we get in here on this shot because we still get Lovejoy going through space out there on H2A. So I believe this is Jupiter up over here where the idea you see the magnetism going towards Earth. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's Jupiter out of the picture just right directly on that line right there. Okay. So we still got our fixation there and the idea that we still got that cluster sh close on that one. They're not faking us out or anything on, on that. And folks, you can see how far Jupiter is way the heck out of everything because basically it's barely up here in the corner of the map. On this one, I pulled up Mercury's shot. Remember, Sun's directly in the hole in the well right there. Mars is over back over there. Everything's flat like a stereo record disc. Okay. So, I'm going to also pull up So as I'm waiting for that to play, we'll go ahead and zoom in and you can see the black hole in space out there, the farthest we know away out there by Mars because the idea that it's a big old seam up there. You can see Lovejoy down here in the shot and we'll zoom in to 400%. You just can't miss it. You can see it right off the bat when you first look at the shot and there it is. And you can also zoom in on the other shots and this is the sun and the supergiants up there to the left. Okay. That is it, and you can just see the brightness, folks. It's just wild. Okay, it even just shows up and blows into your screen because it's natural. And you can see the outline of our humongous way back, way back by Uranus or somewhere in space, way deep, as the flare again is not not affecting anything that everybody always calls a hologram or a clear crystal ball of space. It's that humongous and a, a silhouette of Jupiter. That is horseshit because it's just too goddamn big. Because, i.e., Jupiter is not even there. Okay? Jupiter's way back up here. Okay? Behind Venus and behind this. Because Lovejoy is there and Earth is back up this way over here, somewhere between here and Venus. And, or somewhere out there in deep space. But the idea that it's way up behind because you see where Lovejoy's at. So you know that that there is some humongous object in deep dark space. Once again is the flare, the humongous flare of the sun and the supergiant shows you that. It's way back behind all these stars. Okay? Way back behind all those stars. Way, way back. But it's back there and it gets silhouetted and, and highlighted. And very easily you can see the outline of it right there, folks, as it goes up. You can sit back and look and you see how humongous it is because it's all this area right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a gigantic ass planet way deep in dark space way back almost as far back as that deep dark black hole that we have up there by Mars and i.e. what the hell is given in this humongous of a shadow also you see yep Karasoff didn't like that last comment because yep folks you got the sun here and all this brightness and you know the super giants are also right back here on the back side of this photo if we could get another shot back that way okay the super giants are back there with the sun and the sun's getting its ass kicked like I've showed you what creates this darkness a deep humongous bigger than four to seventy eight times is most of the suns that are still alive and bright like the sun like right here in the supergiants back there okay what dead planet in the supergiants or dead planets is causing all this darkness here okay and also this here but not like up way over here because the sun can't have flare and bring that much light all the way up here the supergiants does and also the supergiants gives this light down here and this light way the hell up here okay that's the supergiants Okay, and there's Jupiter, folks. So when they people say that that that's that uh, that that's that uh, image getting mirrored from Jupiter and stuff like that, it's a bunch of horse hockey, a bunch of horse hockey. And very amazing, folks, that this shot here is the idea to look at the straight energy that's getting blasted out from the sun right now. Okay, it's a straight energy. I mean, it's straight. When's the last time you seen flare that was that straight that far away? Because we know by looking at flares like this on the sun real straight when it first comes off look how straight and wild and far back ass out that that's going that is straight electrical current sun flash light okay way the hell out okay so that actually could be the sun getting its ass kicked right there
More on the Supergiants kicking the Suns out.